who would be the worst actor to play the next James Bond? Rob Schneider as 007. Zach Galifianakis. Holly Shore, Shake and Not Stir Irid. Nicolas Cage Lamau. Sean Connery. As he is now. I think the Reddit consensus is that we want to see Danny DeVito as 007. The guy they got to voice the new Mario. Larry the Cable Guy. Peter Dinklage as 003. 5. Bill Murray. Come on. Blofeld. You paid for the women exclamation mark and quad. Greg Davis. I would watch it and most likely like it. But I think I would be in a minority. James Gordon as the next James Bond. Jacob Batalon or Johnny Sins. Actually wait Johnny Sins would only make it better. Jack Black. But would probably be the best James Bond at the same time. The name's Corden. James Corden. Who destroyed their entire life by making one mistake. My father. Years ago he started a trucking company with his best friend at the time. The HQ of the company was in a neighbor state. A six hours drive or about 40 minute flight. And for some reason. My dad just wouldn't visit his company. Even with my mother pressing him to actually take care of his business. He would always say he trusted his friend and since he only did the accounting for the company he only needed the reports his friend would send him. Long story short. His best friend scammed him out a million bucks. Driving both their company and my family to complete bankruptcy and fucked off to live in some tropical paradise. When I was a kid we were playing hide and go seek beside the train tracks that ran through our housing development. One of the kids hid behind the train as it passed and a ladder on the side of the train took his head clean off. His mom came outside and saw everything. Our parents hustled us in the house as quick as they could. Really fucked up experience. Whole life gone because of a game of hide and seek. If someone needs I can probably find the article on it. Barhaven. Suburb of Ottawa summer 1993 I believe. Alexei Petrovich. Tsarevich of Russia. In 1716 he fled to the Austrian Empire in order to escape his father. When emissaries sent by his father came to bring him back to Russia. He returned on the condition that he would not be harmed. This was the worst mistake he ever made. It resulted in him being implicated in a treason plot and ultimately cost him his life. This is an extremely brief summary on this topic. Some people would say Alexei choosing to run away was the mistake that destroyed his life. It is also unclear whether he plotted against his father or not. Ultimately it is one of the most tragic moments in the history of the Russian Empire. Abortion at any month? What you have to understand is that nobody is out here just getting late-stage abortions willy-nilly. Someone who has decided they don't want to carry a pregnancy to term knows that right away or shortly after the fact. Nobody is carrying a baby for six, seven, eight months and then just deciding out of the blue they no longer want the child. Late-stage abortions are for extreme cases in which the child or parent will likely not survive the birth or the child has some sort of rare disorder or defect that will cause nothing but excruciating pain for its entire short life before inevitably dying. I believe that abortion should be allowed and women have rights to their own bodies. However, if the pregnancy is viable, meaning to me that the fetus can survive outside of the uterus, it's not abortion anymore. In the old days, and possibly still in some places in the world, late-term abortions were done where the child was being born and the spinal cord was cut before delivery was complete. This would also happen if the baby was being born and had an obvious abnormality like Down syndrome. We need to have some morals here emo. It's different if a woman's life is in jeopardy. Of course. My perspective about abortion is that the government should provide the facilities. So if a person decide to abort, can do it in a safe way. Independently if the population is pro-choice or not. It should be a person choice to decide not the government or the community. I still remember when abortion was highly illegal in my country. And many women ended in clandestine clinics risking their life, or something worse, and rich families pro-life would send their daughter to another country where abortion was legal. From my understanding, the consensus of the 40 watts is when the fetus start having cerebral activity and is considered live by the scientific community. They rub their feet together uncontrollably when getting to bed for the night? I do rub my feet together but not uncontrollably. It gets the blood circulating. I've heard this referred to as cricket feet within the autistic community. I've been doing this for years. No history of autism. ADHD. I pictured myself rubbing my soles together and thought. That's strange. Then realized I'm a goof. The other way though. Yay. I have. What is the absolute best piece of gossip you have ever heard? Like ever. A super famous guy in my last jobs industry faked a brain tumor to cover up his drug problem. But apparently he's been found out because he was siphoning money away from his benefactors. The reason my friend got divorced is because his wife told him after they got married that she is trans, ftum, and wants to begin transitioning now that they are married. No way I'm sharing that. Well, I found out that my grandpa had a surgery poor a penile implant those that you can inflate slash deflate by a mechanism stored in the balls, to be able to have sex with his mistress that he rents a house for. My ex-friend's parents were going through a divorce it was getting nasty there were rumors but we weren't sure the actual motivation for it. Eventually his dad was visiting where I lived and he got drunk while having dinner with and it all came out, I mean the fact that he had a secret love child with his secretary that he promptly shipped off back to her home country wasn't the cause as everyone assumed. Although he confirmed that was true, 
The actual reason for the divorce was he fell in love with their secret threesome partner. This was where the wife drew the line apparently. A friend of mine broke up with her boyfriend and slept with his guy who she had the biggest crush on for years. A few days later she started getting a burning in her vagina. She thought it was a yeast infection. Nope, it was herpes. However, the guy she slept with had never had a herpes outbreak prior to the current one so his herpes was new too. Where did guy A get the herpes from? He slept with a woman who had a recent herpes outbreak. This woman also slept with guy A's father and is now pregnant. But where did the herpes originally come from? From guy A's father. So to sum up this woman is now pregnant. They don't know if the child's father is father or son. And now everyone has herpes.